everyone and welcome to a cozy mini draw with me. So I've been working a lot from home recently and just creating a nice cozy space in my home office instead of being at the studio all the time. It's winter and it's really cold there. So I'm in the comfort of my own home, drawing at my desk, which makes a nice change. I sat down not having a clue what I was about to draw, but moving Ginny off my chair gave me a little bit of inspiration to draw a cute little cat. It's not a finished, polished illustration, but I quite like that I'm able to share a work in progress, a character development, and maybe you will see a progression of this character in the coming months. I think this little guy would make an amazing sticker sheet. I was trying to come up with a name for him. I was going for cute names like Squishy, but I ended up settling on Harold. I think it's Harold is such a like opposite name to a cute cat that I think it really matches and it really goes. So I wanted to draw Harold in different positions, up to no good, and yeah, like I said, I think it would make a really cute sticker sheet. For this illustration, I'm using my own brush pack, which you can find in the link below, and I'm sketching with my silky sketch pen. And if you join my mailing list, then you get 10% off all of my digital downloads. So that's definitely something to check out in the description. And other than that, I'm gonna let the cozy music play. You can have me on in the background, and I will check in with you in a little bit. When I'm working on the sketching stage, I'm not really worried about where I'm drawing on the canvas. I'm happy to move the sketch about because I'm not worried about the resolution changing. In Procreate, when you move stuff, the resolution decreases. There are ways to avoid this, but I've just found that it loses some resolution. So before I go into the line art stage, I always try and make it in the correct position where I want it on the canvas. Let's take a moment to look at today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by my friends over at Domestica. Now, because you clicked on this video, stick around because I think you're going to love what I'm about to show you. Domestica offer high quality creative courses and this kawaii illustration course by Ilaria Renauro on how to create charming characters is up there with the best. She not only dives into the basics of kawaii illustration from facial features to body proportions, she also shows you how to create these characters by developing their backstory. Ilaria will not only guide you through the process of turning your characters into physical sticker sheets, she also shares her advice on how to start your very own kawaii sticker business. With the link below, you can grab 10% off her course and that's on top of any discount Domestica are already running. That is a whole lot of learning. Okay, back to the video. So for the liner, I'm sticking with my brush pack and this one is the bristly brush. I absolutely love it for line art. The eyes and the little mouth are the prickly pen and I just love these brushes for line art. I think if I'd stuck with the silky sketch for the line art, it would have given a real softness to the illustration. So I'm definitely gonna revisit that when I go in and refine this character and set it up for my sticker sheet. So I'll let the music play and catch up with you in the coloring stage.
So usually when I'm choosing colours, I go in with a rough idea of what I want and then I do lots of tweaking. I don't worry about colouring inside the lines, I just get something down on the canvas. But in this case, I just wanted it to be a really quick sketch. I spent less than an hour on this illustration and I decided to just go in with the colours. Now that meant that I did a lot of tweaking of colours later on. You'll see at the end I put up the final illustration and it's a lot different to how it looks right now. I added more pink tones and I worked with gradient maps to change the luminosity of the piece. And it's definitely something I need to tweak a little bit more when I go into my sticker sheet. If you're working on the initial designs of a character like I am here, I really recommend that you come back a few days after drawing it with fresh eyes just so you can see what stands out to you as needing to change or what needs to be improved because sometimes when we're working on the character initially we don't see those points. It can also be really scary to share an illustration or a design, a character, before you've really perfected it. Now one thing I'm really trying to do this year, a big goal of mine, is sharing things without waiting for it to be perfect. What I have a habit of doing, and I'm sure loads of you can relate, if you can let me know in the comments below, but I end up waiting for that perfection and because that perfection never comes, I end up never posting. I go for these long periods without posting anything because I'm so worried about what it's going to look like and what people will think, but I decided with this illustration I was just going to share with you my doodle, my first initial steps in developing a character and hopefully that inspires you to do the same. Share it, learn, grow, because if we don't we're just standing still. I'm not saying you have to share everything because there's definitely some things on my Procreate that probably shouldn't see the live day, but I think you get my point. Waiting for perfection just means we're going to be waiting a really long time. So I decided to try something new here and add my sketch layer back into the canvas. So it was drawn in a red colour so I've just gone over it on alpha lock with a dark grey and now I'm erasing some sections that are maybe not needed but in general I'm trying to keep a little bit more of this sketchy look to the illustration. I don't normally do this in my illustrations but I thought it'd be cool to try it and see what it looked like. I'm adding some final shading touches which I do on the multiply layer on my blending modes and something I forgot to do was add highlights but maybe that's okay sometimes we can overwork an illustration I wanted to keep this fairly simple so I haven't gone in with too many details <laughs> So here are the final colours that I've actually gone with, I'll pop them on the screen and you can see there's more pink tones and luminosity in the final piece. Like I said, hopefully I can develop this character even further and create it as a sticker sheet or a series of die cut stickers. Okay, that's it from me, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this mini draw with me and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I've got loads more content coming out in the next couple of months, lots of draw with me's, so it's definitely worth hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. Okay, see you next time, bye guys!